as the Michigan Independent Citizens Redistricting Commission draws closer to redrawing those voting district maps, more and more political battles are cropping up. So this fight is a large fight that is not surprising uh, to us. Unfortunately, it's a national fight. I mean, it's in Michigan, but our politics are national in scope now. The latest issues center around what the Michigan GOP is calling a questionable contract with a consultant who donated money to Democratic elected officials and whether or not to recite the Pledge of Allegiance before starting meetings. The commission will no longer recite the pledge, but the contract the body entered into with the Maryland firm for legal consultation is at the heart of the complaint coming from the Republicans. Uh, the commission should reevaluate this hire or bring on a second attorney. Uh, to remove any perception of partisan political bias. Uh, this process and this commission absolutely must remain nonpartisan. The commission used a bidding process to find a legal consultant. Commissioner Ed Woods says there were several bids that were whittled down to two. At last Thursday's meeting, Bruce Adelson, who runs Federal Compliance Consulting LLC, was chosen. The Michigan GOP says the hire is inappropriate because Adelson has donated to the Democratic politicians, including Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson. Lansing City Councilwoman Patricia Spitzley says this kind of thing isn't a good look. Any any distraction, whether it's um, true or not, and this, you know, and this allegation of impropriety by the GOP just serves to taint the process. And it's unfortunate because this is a critically important process. When asked about the contract and the Michigan GOP's objections to it, Commissioner Ed Woods says the body welcomes comments, but they have to be made in a timely manner. And we would just invite them to make sure that the public comment is um, in, you know, before the meeting or they actually, you know, sign up so that it can be heard, you know, in, in time. I mean, and that would not, that's not to the GOP, that's to everyone. Wayne State University political science professor Ronald Brown says we can expect to see more fights as a deadline to redraw districts gets closer. And so the hyperpartisanship prevents talking about disagree on some kind of informal norms. And the pledge, whether you do it or not do it, it's a norm. I mean, it's, and so it's a norm. It's not so much about whether the one is a patriot, but it's a norm. So I think that's the issue. So the commission is set to hold 16 town hall meetings around the state to get input and answer questions from the community. Those meetings are set to start on May the 11th. Your neighborhood Capitol Beat reporter Erica Murphy, Fox 47 News.